And now, the news. And I'm afraid it's very bad. Jeremy Clarkson has a cold. I have not got a cold. Oh. I've got bird flu. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I'm living, breathing proof, soon to not be living or breathing, that it can jump species. Wow. That means it's only one species away from humans, so we could all be. <laughs> Um, on with the news, the government has a new solution for cutting congestion, which is to ban us all from driving. Which will work. Good. If I can't drive, I've got bird flu. <laughs> well, they're going to introduce, for speeding, you get six points, which means two strikes and you're out. Well, on the plus side, though, they are talking about introducing that scheme where you get two points if you're only just over the limit. No, 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 they're scrapping it. Honestly, I read this week, they're thinking of scrapping that because it goes against their policy of all speed of any sort kills. Which actually isn't true. You know, I read a survey this week, which I've got here, I brought it out with me. OK, on country roads, like rural, normal roads, out of a city, guess how many injury and, you know, death accidents are put down to speed? I don't know. Oh. Rural, probably, probably 50%. No, 60. yokels, 80%. 65 Four. 40%. 4%. Four 4%. 4%. 96% of accidents on rural roads have got nothing to do with speed. You so think, what, well, what is it, then? What causes the other 96% of accidents? Yeah. Because it's dark and it smells funny in the countryside. <laughs> Does anyone have any ideas why... What causes... What? Tractors. Horses. No, I think the man with horses is onto something. I genuinely believe it's animals. People swerving, or, you know, they've got like their kids in the back and swerve on the wrong side of the road just to miss some fox, which is just a rat. <laughs> no, it isn't. It is. No, a rat is quite small and has like a really bald, long tail, and a fox is quite big and fluffy and has a big bushy tail and a name, Basil. <laughs> You're not a countryman, it's... are you? Not all of them are called Basil. No, no, it's like badgers. Cos have you seen, um... I bet you tune in. I do. Every... Kate Humble's Badger Watch. Every it's... week I'm there. It's not what you think at all. No. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Every I week, in. you wait. I tuned in. She was talking about some <laughs> stupid little animal that basically is a chemical <laughs> weapons factory spreading tuberculosis around the countryside. <laughs> People get it into their heads like you that foxes are cute and badgers are cute, and they're not. Well, I just honestly believe, genuinely, that the country... Cos we've established only 4% of accidents are caused by speed, speed, and I bet most of those are bikers. So, actually, driving in the countryside is completely safe and would be better if you could get rid of all the animals. Actually, you've got that the wrong way round, cos you know Richmond Park outside London? Yeah. Everybody drives through there at 15 or 20 miles an hour because they're scared about running over Bambi, cos it's full of deers. Yeah. And then as soon as they get to the city, where they'll only run over people, they all speed up and drive like lunatics, <laughs> yeah? So what so are you suggesting? Put the deer in the town. <laughs> yeah, but actually... <laughs> if you entered the countryside of all the animals and put them in... Actually... James, you finally hit, for the first time in your life, when I come to power, I'm going to make you my Minister of Transport, I've decided, and you can implement that. Oh, there's a rosy future for us all, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> now, I'd like to talk about a car. <gasps> right. On right. top gear? Yes. No. No, seriously, look at this. This is the Mercedes McLaren SLR Roadster, which is now officially... the.